Hello and welcome to YMCA of San Francisco's Classrooms for All. My name is Alex and today I'm going to be your STEAM instructor in teaching you how to make a light spectroscope at home. So we'll talk about what a spectroscope is and why we're going to make it and what's so cool about it. Um, so before we get started, the materials you'll need are an X-Acto knife, this you'll need parent permission and help with if you're using at home, or you can use scissors. Um, you'll want some markers or stickers or some fun tape or even paint to decorate your spectroscope. You'll also want a tube, uh, a paper towel tube, cardboard tube. You'll want a thick piece of paper, preferably white. You'll want a blank CD. So back in my day, when I was a kid, I would listen to music on CDs. So you'll want a blank CD, one that's not really colorful like this one, but a blank one that's just kind of clear and still shiny. And then you'll want some tape, some scissors, and a Sharpie to do your tracing. All right, so let's get started. So a light spectroscope is an instrument used to split light into different wavelengths. So it's gonna be a tool that allows us to see the different colors of light. So normally when we look at things outside, we see it in white light. So it's all different colors hitting things at different times. And we don't always just see a rainbow all of the time. So this tool is gonna let us see all of the colors of a rainbow right in this tiny tube. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we'll want to do is decorate our tube. So this is our spectroscope tube. This is going to be what we're going to be decorating and using to see rainbow colors. So what we'll want to do is take any stickers or markers or paint and go ahead and decorate your your spectroscope tube. So I have some really cool dot stickers that I'm going to use to decorate my whole my whole tube. So I'm going to use some of these neon colors and go ahead and decorate the whole thing however you want. You can also leave it blank if you prefer. I'm just gonna put these little stickers everywhere. Wherever I want. And you can give yours a name if you want to. You can write your name on it if you're working in a group and you want to make sure you can claim yours as your own. You can paint it with any colors that you want and let it dry before you start the next steps. Whatever you choose, this is your spectroscope today. All right, so I'm gonna put a bunch of little polka dots on mine. So I have a bunch of polka dot stickers on there. I'm gonna use some markers that I have here to decorate a little bit more of my spectroscope. So I'm gonna use some purple, and I might just make little squiggly lines throughout the whole thing. See what that looks like. If you're using paint, you can color this whatever you want it to be. And if you're at home, you don't have to follow my my lead, you can go ahead and use whatever coloring tools you have handy. Cool. All right, so mine's not completely filled with colors, but I'm gonna leave it the way that is. So the next step is we're gonna decide what the top of our spectroscope will be and what the bottom of our spectroscope will be. So whichever one you want to be up on top, if you wrote different words and want them to be oriented in a certain way, go ahead and figure out which way you want it to be. So I'm gonna have mine go this way. And the next thing we're going to do is take our X-Acto knife and we're going to make a 45 degree angle cut on one side near the bottom of our spectroscope. So this is the top, this is the bottom. And on one side, I'm gonna cut at an angle into my, my tube, okay? So we're gonna make it wide enough, but we're gonna also cut down at an angle. So it's gonna be looking a little slanted. So if you're looking at a 45 degree angle, it's gonna be something like this. So this is a 90 degree. So half of that, if this is the bottom base, this is straight up. 
45 degree will be at an angle like that. So we're gonna cut at an angle into our tube until we cut through a little bit here. We don't need to go all the way across, just cut enough to make a good dent into your, your tube. Okay. So I made a little angled cut And that's gonna be on the right side, or whatever side you want it to be on. For me, it's on the right. It might be mirrored for you guys at home. So that is where we're going to end up putting our CD in eventually. So we might need to adjust it later to make it fit a little bit better, but I'm gonna leave that as it is. And then we're gonna still use our X-Acto knife, but you might wanna mark this next part. On the opposite side of where we cut that 45 degree angle, we're going to cut a little hole for our eyes to look through. So we're going to cut directly across and we'll make a rectangle or kind of like a thicker rectangle square shape on the other side so that we can see through our spectroscope. So we're going to make, I'm gonna draw a rectangle shape out on the opposite side of where we just cut that 45 degree angle cut. So I have this black outline where I'm going to cut. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that X-Acto knife and I'm gonna cut into the end or the outline of where I want my eye hole to go. So be very careful with this. You might need your parents' help if you're able to do this with uh, scissors, that might be a little bit easier too. So feel free to try it with any cutting tools that you have and make sure you have your parents' permission to use this or your parents' help to help cut this open. So I'm following that black line all the way around, going up slow and steady so that I don't hurt myself in the process. And then you can cut out the rest. And now I have this rectangular hole that's going to be perfect for my eyes to look through when we're ready to put all of the pieces together. And you should still be able to see the slit directly across from our peephole there, our little eye hole. Okay? All right. So the next part, before we put it all together, is going to be putting a top to our spectroscope. So what we're going to do next is we're going to trace the top part or the bottom of our tube. So we make a perfect circle that's the exact shape of our spectroscope. So I'm gonna take this blank piece of paper, lay my tube right on top, and then go around it with my black marker or a pencil, whatever you have handy. And then, what we'll do then, is we're going to cut out that circle. Mine looks a little funny, so hopefully it fits. Okay. And then what we'll do is, before we attach it to our spectroscope, oops, that's the other way around, we're going to cut a little tiny rectangle, skinny rectangle, in the center of our circle. So I'm gonna outline that first so I know where to cut. And this time I'm only gonna use scissors because this is paper and it's a little easier to cut. So I'm gonna make a smaller rectangle cut like this. So as if we're kind of making like a piggy bank or something um, out of our spectroscope, like a little coin could fit there. So I'm gonna take my scissors, fold the paper a little bit so I can cut into it. And then I'm gonna cut out that little rectangle that I drew on there. All right, so now we have a hole or rectangle cut out of our circle that we just cut out. And we're gonna take our tape and place this right on top. So the bottom part is where our eyes are going to look for and where that 45 degree cut that we put in there going to be so on the top part of our spectroscope we're going to tape 
that circle. So I'm going to lay it on top. I'm going to take some, some tape and I'm going to attach it to my tube. So you might need to just lay it on top a little bit there. Attach it all around. And the goal here is to kind of block out any light. So we're going to be taking this outside or using it inside to look at different colored lights. And the only light that we want to shine through this tube is going to come right through this little rectangle piece that we cut out. So now we have the circle attached to the top, our seeing hole right there at the bottom and then that, that angle that we cut into. So we're now going to put it all together. The next part we'll need is that CD. So back when I was a kid, um, without iPods or um, iPads or U YouTube wasn't even really a thing yet, um, we used to listen to um, CDs. So these are really cool. Um, they look really smooth and if you touch them, you don't really feel any ridges, but if you have a microscope or anything you can see that there are some subtle ridges in in the design of these cds and that's what helped um, lasers kind of read the cd and play the music on our boom boxes or in our car cd players if you have a car that still has a cd player um, but what's really cool about these ridges is that when we put them into a spectroscope one it's mirrored so you can see your reflection slightly in the cd so that's gonna help reflect that light that comes through our spectroscope, but those ridges are gonna help diffract or kind of make all of those wavelengths of light move in different areas so that way, that way we can see all the colors of the rainbow or many colors of the rainbow right inside of our spectroscope. So what we're going to do next is place the shiny side up into our spectroscope where that angle we put in. So where we cut that angle, we're gonna slide our CD into it and make sure a good amount goes in. So you might need to adjust like I might have to um, cut a little bit more into your into your toilet paper or your paper towel roll. Make sure the CD can slide in nicely. So that way it's not all the way through, but you can still see some light. And what you'll want to do is I'm in a room with some artificial light, so it's not going to work very perfectly. I might be able to go near a lamp and see the rainbow refracted into my spectroscope here. But what you'll want to do is take it outside on a day that has some more sunlight. You won't want to face this directly to the sun because that could really hurt our eyes. So face it away from the sun, but take it out somewhere where you can see the light and you'll be able to see the colors of the rainbow or a rainbow right inside of this hole in your spectroscope. So this is something you can make or test out with different colors at home. So if you have any lights at home that you can test out and see, maybe I, if I use an orange colored light or if I have an LED light at home that changes colors, I can see what blue lights look like or what red or orange lights look like in my spectroscope. So that is how you make your very own spectroscope at home with some materials that might be a little outdated like the CD, but definitely something we might have at home like paper towel rolls and anything to decorate a really cool piece of, of science. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me in making your very own light spectroscope. We did some engineering and building and creating the light spectroscope today. And we're also engaging in some physics, which is a part of science, um, where we're studying the parts of light and how we can better see the colors in the light around us. So feel free to try this at home, test it out on those lights inside or outside on a nice clear day. And I can't wait to try some new science activities with this when I get home. So thank you all so much. If you wanna see more classes for all, you can go to our YouTube channel or you can join us at ymcasf.org slash classrooms for all. We hope to see you all there. Bye. <laughs>
Did you know that YMCA of San Francisco never closed? When shelter-in-place happened, we could no longer provide in-person programming. We quickly shifted to provide youth and family programming virtually. As early as April, we started providing on-demand activities in our YMCA of San Francisco YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to be making a geodesic dome. Today, we're going to be making a hovercraft. The science around this activity is really awesome. In addition, we have a regular schedule of activities for our youth and families to join live. We feature read-alouds, yoga, family Zumba, arts and crafts, drawing clubs, and more. So don't miss out on our virtual youth and family offerings. Visit www.ymcasf.org for more info and class schedules.